How's it going, everybody? The voting is in. We've had 203 votes, and 61% of those 203 votes prefer Digibyte over Bitcoin. And that's just an interesting little poll that I did on the YouTube channel. And if you're still interested, you can go and you could go vote in the, uh, I believe it's the community tab on the channel. Uh, definitely interesting to see. I always like doing those, um, just putting one crypto against another and seeing what people prefer. Uh, and it, it makes sense that Digibyte would get picked um, in terms of speed, uh, in terms of just blockchain and community. I think that Digibyte for what it's worth is an, is definitely an interesting project and uh it's always interesting to make these videos and get the opinion of everybody you know who comments on it especially with um digi assets uh you know open source permissionless um you know, when we want to talk about blockchain and um, in, in a broader sense, uh, it is definitely uh, it, it's impossible to ignore, I would say right now. And I think that there's a general consensus uh, in the business community that blockchain works. It saves money and where people are able to get their pockets fatter than um, different blockchains will have. Uh, because there's obviously a lot of uh, companies out there that are currently sleeping on blockchain. And I think that the fact that Digibyte is, I think that they're doing exactly what they need to be doing. And just simply by existing and the magic of time moving forward will eventually create a demand that will offset any um, quandaries that um, businesses might have. And I think it's more about just educating people about um, the all the money that they could save by using blockchain technology. And it's not even about that. It's about keeping up with the times. Uh, basically, I would easily make the prediction that um, not using blockchain technology is the equivalent of not having your business on the internet and not having an online presence. Uh, and it just makes sense that a, a lot of businesses will get snuffed out. Uh, and the, you know, as we see more applications being built on Digibyte, uh, it, it will also be interesting to see how um, businesses and different corporations, uh, um, you know, governmental bodies and so forth, uh, pr prefer to build their own blockchain um, and ignore. Um, the pre-existing blockchains that are already maintained. Uh, and I think that uh, it, it will be interesting to see how something like Digibyte uh, will definitely be able to be like a net that uh, sucks up a, a vacuum, if you will, that sucks up a lot of uh, people who are smart and able to make, you know, understand. Um, you know, so of course, uh, right now, you know, the market's a little bit down, you know, Bitcoin at 9,500. If you watched my uh, recent technical analysis video, um, I, I, you know, I, I basically, um, made the same prediction um, that this would is exactly how it would play out. Bitcoin would bounce around the nine thousand, the you know the nine thousand region uh, is still fairly bullish, especially when you consider the circumstances. You know, money moving around and in places where it otherwise may have not moved around, and also uh, not moving around in places where it used to move around. You know, the, the, a lot of these different things have uh, shaken the uh, all sorts of markets down to their core. Um, this article right here, Satoshi Nakamoto, is that you? Bitcoin uh, mined in 2009 uh, moves for the first time. Um, so a chunk of Bitcoin has just moved for the first time since it was mined way back in 2009, causing some to speculate that Satoshi has returned. Uh, the shift was detected by Twitter-based blockchain uh, monitor, a whale alert, which confirmed that the 40 BTC featured in the transaction were mined in the first month of Bitcoin's existence. Back then, the Bitcoin network was very small, um, you know, and of course, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto was one of uh, just a handful of active miners. Um, yep, that's old Bitcoin, but it's hard to prove uh, that it's really Nakamoto, but still, um, it is definitely interesting. You know, the tweet goes uh, on to say, keep in mind, uh, it's basically impossible to prove, um, you know, that Satoshi uh, didn't mine these coins, but uh, the best research we have suggests that Satoshi mined a, a specific set of blocks of which um, this is not one. Uh, but still, I mean, it is interesting. Um, you know, and of course, we have uh, good old, uh, you, you know, Judge Rules, uh, Musk's Tesla stock too high, in my opinion, tweet, uh, troublesome, but uh, not enough to sue. Uh, so, you know, there's Elon again, you know, just uh, making a 
big splash in the space. Of course, um, we are still running the campaign where I want everybody to um, start tweeting at Elon Musk um, on a daily basis to get Elon to um, comment on Digibyte uh, and give his opinions on Digibyte uh, as we have seen him commenting on um, Bitcoin, you know, and all these other things. But I think it would be well worth your time, Mr. Musk, to uh, comment on Digibyte and let us know, um, you know, just a single tweet and we'll be happy. We'll quit bothering you. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can get his attention. Um, you know, we have, uh, we have interesting, uh, you know, lockdown uh, proposal uh, that pose a unique, uh, you know, it is interesting in the context of Bitcoin, um, you know, and of course, uh, Bitcoin and other high risk assets, uh, like stocks remains exposed uh, to another collapse. Uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt FUD is among the most commonly used terms in the crypto space as those three powers emotions have the potential to cause massive uh, panic um, induced sell-offs. The fear of the novel uh, you know, current health um, issue in uh, quarter one of 2020 and uncertainty over how it would impact the economy caused investors to uh, doubt their investments and uh, double you know, you know, dumping, uh, holding uh, for cash and a ca- catastrophic collapse and uh, liquidity crisis. Uh, the sell-off was so strong that the day uh, is now referred to as Black Thursday. Uh, during the sell-off, the stock market tumbled, Bitcoin crashed over 50%, and even safe haven assets like gold fell from highs later on as things got worse. Oil prices fell into the negative uh, for the first time in recent history. Uh, market may um, tumble if uh, unusual. Uh, you know, I think that um, th- this is interesting because, uh, uh, you know, this is sort of exactly what uh, Bitcoin was created for. Uh, and I think especially while we see uh, many of these different um, variables um, undeniably um, building and looming in the background, uh, you know, just by simply surviving um, and recovering and doing exactly what Bitcoin was built to do. Uh, and, you know, this goes for all of, uh, you know, related technologies um, in the digital asset space. Uh, I I think that it it works. I think that it makes sense. Uh, And I think that, you know, we are in exactly the position um, that we need to be, you know, of course, uh, all, uh, you know, my sympathies go out to people who are, you know, small business owners who've been uh, affected, who, you know, really, uh, you know, restaurant owners and so forth, people who were dependent upon um, large crowds of people, uh, you know, because it is a certain talent, you know, these are, these are hardworking people who managed to get uh, large amounts of people to um, come into their business and actually, uh, you know, come into their business and frequent and buy, you know, things and stuff like that. It takes a lot of work and it's sad to see, uh, you know, just the money um, leaving the space. Um, But still at the same time, um, you know, we are seeing the the turn to uh, cashless, um, you know, the the physical paper dollar is uh, being accepted at less and less stores now due to a lot of the pressure, uh, you know, over germs. Everybody's a germaphobe now. Um, It is part of the new normal. Um, So it will be interesting to see how uh, those sort of variables uh, do, in fact, lend themselves over um, to a lot of the different aspects of the paradigm shift that we've been uh, watching unfold. Uh, France becomes the first uh, country to succeed successfully uh, trial a blockchain based uh, digital euro, um, which is sort of in that same uh, context, uh, central banks across the globe are having an ultra busy time uh, amid the current um, health epidemic, uh, besides uh, pumping in millions of millions of money into the system to salvage the economy, central banks have had to uh, disinfect uh, likely um, tainted currency notes, uh, such as uh, such an inconvenience uh, should make banks even more interested in creating digital currency. So, um, th- you know, it is it is sort of like, you know, all Bitcoin and related technologies have to do is survive and the market, you know, much the same argument that goes for the necessity for blockchain and the amount of money that can be saved uh, at the same time. Um, 
it, it works. It, it fits and it, it does make sense. Um, and, you know, and it, it is bullish in its own right. Uh, not immediately, but uh, long term, uh, I would, I, I'm one to say that it's um, definitely interesting. Uh, but all that being said, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you found this entertaining, interesting, and worthy of your attention. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you, and you know, remember to subscribe. Uh, but of course, remember, I'm not your dad. Uh, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm making this video for entertainment, educational purposes only. Um, please comment down below, letting us know what your opinion is. You know, I shared my opinion um, in this video, and I'll continue to share share my opinion on these subjects um, in future content. But all that being said, hope you guys have had a, are having a good day and I'll see you guys in the next one.